Hey guys, it's Chris uh, coming at you with another tutorial today. Uh, this one I got a question from Carlos Beast uh, and we're talking specifically about tunnel throw technique. So thank you Carlos for the question. Um, and yeah, this, uh, this video is going to be a little bit shorter uh, than the other one. Um, particularly because this is one of those kinds of things that you kind of need to find out on your own. Um, you know, it takes a lot of practice and experimentation, but it, there are a couple tips to it. Um, first thing I could say is probably there's a couple different ways to do it. A lot of people will tell you just one way. Uh, it's not true. Uh, most people, including myself, do it uh, in a way where you roll your tongue against your bottom teeth, so kind of like that. And it depends on how much, you know, like depending on the pitch, how much you roll it or how close it is uh, to your bottom teeth. Sometimes I do it uh, where it's actually not touching my bottom teeth, but it's close, so it's kind of like like that. Maybe you can't tell, but it's actually just against the, the gums back there. So anyway, um, yeah, I guess the, the important thing to keep in mind when you're doing this is that you really need to feel the overtone and the scream coming out over the top of your tongue. If you're not going to get that, you're probably not going to get much of the tunnel sound at all. Uh, make sure to use a decent amount of air when you're doing it, otherwise it just kind of, you don't really get the effect. Um, admittedly, I'm not the greatest uh, at doing lows with this one. Um, it kind of came to me as a low first and then I perfected it or at least got better um, in the higher pitch. So. Uh, if you're doing it decently right, you know, you, your high pitch ones normally would sound like Aah! And then with the tunnel it would be like Aah! Aah! So I would consider um, Also like playing around with like the way your lips are too um, For me it helps to kind of have them pushed out like that. I don't know why but um yeah, that, that definitely helps. And now there there are other people who do it differently, uh, especially in the higher pitch area. Um, Travis Ryan actually uses his tongue here, um, like behind his lip and in front of his bottom teeth. Um, that works for some people. It uh, doesn't for me. Uh, there's a couple other guys, and I'll link to all these guys in the description. Um, Simone Montavani, I believe I'm pronouncing his name right. Uh, sorry, Simone, if you see this and I don't. Um, but... Uh, he does something a lot different than what I've seen a lot of people do. He kind of like curls his tongue a little bit and then like places it over his bottom lip. I don't know how it works, but the dude sounds like a freaking beast. Um, check him out. I'll link to a video uh, with him in it. The, the guy's one of the, the best screamers I've seen in a long time. Um, similar to that, I think Dennis Die. I think that's his last name. Uh, sorry if again uh, I'm mispronouncing that. Uh, he seems to do something pretty similar, and I'll link to one of his covers and everything. Just watch other people do it. Uh, that definitely will help you out. And just experiment. You know, a lot of it's just going to take time. It took me a really long time. I've probably been working on it for a year, and I mean, my lows still don't sound that great. You know, the regular would just be like, <laughs> and then with the tunnel throat, just. <laughs> still not very great so I mean it's something that just takes a lot of time and practice man um, you know I wish you luck uh, if you have any other questions let me know um, feel free to like comment and subscribe uh, yeah and have a good one guys